Welcome back, children. Hello, Teddy. Hello, Freddy. Let us just remind the children what we tapped on last time. Freddy, you were very upset because you could not do your puzzle. You felt very frustrated and stuck. And how were things for you since then? Would you like to tell me and Teppy Teddy? Yeah? Oh, I enjoyed doing my puzzles. I was much better at it. I was really able to concentrate. I was wondering what magic you're using, please, Teppy Teddy, when you're helping me with stepping. Could you please tell me a bit more? Because I think the children and I will be really curious to find out. Oh, you are right, Freddy, to be asking this question. The children that I helped in the past also used to ask me how EFT tapping worked. And with them, we drew these monsters. Oh, look at them. These monsters we drew. These monsters represent the stress and anxiety you are feeling. Imagine these monsters are real and they are powerful and strong. Can you think how you would defend yourself? Let us make a pretend game. When I set all the monsters on you, let's see what you would do. Are you ready? face the first monster. Well, I'm not sure. As long as the monster is not too big, I think perhaps I could face him. Okay then. So, I would like you to confront the first monster. Now, I am setting you, this is the first monster, and I'm now setting him on you. Okay, all right then. So, so, how was it? Tell us more about it. Oh, I managed to fight this monster off, even though it was a big battle. Okay, Freddy. Now, are you ready to face the second monster? I will set him on you in a minute. Just wait. <gasps> oh, this one is enormous. I better run away. Oh, I made it. But what a job running away. Hmm. After I already feel exhausted from fighting the previous monsters, are there still more monsters? I, I do not know what I will do to take the next monster on if there is still another. I think I had enough of fighting and running. Mm, yeah, there is one more monster, and that one is going to be released on you just now. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, oh what's, what's happening? Oh, the monster seems to be attacking Freddy, but Freddy is doing nothing. Oh, I think the monster is just losing interest. Hmm. Oh, Freddy, tell me, are you okay? Tell me what game you were playing. Oh, well, I could not fight anymore, so I had the idea of playing dead. That is what I learned from spiders. Sometimes I catch them and they look dead to me. But then I release them on the grass and suddenly they start moving. 
so I thought I would drink this monster too by pretending to be dead. Oh, I hope that monster has gone now. Is it safe? Oh, yes, it's very safe for you, Freddy. Monster is indeed gone, but you see, this is where our Buddhists often make mistakes. They mistakenly believe that the monster is still there, and we are on the lookout of more danger, even though all this danger would have passed. So we continue to believe the danger is there, and are always ready to attack. And this is so exhausting. You thought of the first monster, yeah? You ran away from the second, and then you froze at the side of the third monster. And these are part of the stress responses called fight and flight and freeze. And when we are constantly in this mode, we will be very stressed out. Our stress hormones will be all over our bodies, and this is not beneficial for us. Hmm. So tell me, how does this stepping work then? How does it help us feel calmer? Every time you tap, calming messages are sent to the amygdala part of your brain. Amygdala is the part of the brain that is in charge of the fight and flight responses. So then this part of your brain will be calmed down and you'll be no longer anxious or the brain will be no longer anxious to send out more stress hormones through your body when it is no longer needed. Actually, your body is only reacting to some danger which it remembers from the past and it's no longer real, is it? So let us go back to the chat we had last time. You told me that your mom told you once that you were not good enough, but that your mom was just quite anxious herself at that time. Hmm, yeah, you are right, you remember that very well. Well, could you think of it that your mom's monster started to scare you and it multiplied inside you? So, if we look at all these monsters, which one of them? From all these monsters we've got, which one, which one, which one of these monsters would you like to choose to represent that monster of your mum? Oh. oh, I think it'll be this one, the one in the middle. Okay. Was there any other time anybody else told you that you were not good enough? Oh, my dad told me. I remember I was trying to help him build the bench. Oh, I was really excited about that. I really love to do the hammering. But then dad said he better do it himself. He told me it would be quicker that way. He then made me believe he was better off without my help and that I was not good enough. Okay, which one of these monsters would you like to choose to represent that monster that came from your dad? Oh, I think that one. Okay. Has there been anybody else who has put you down in any way, Freddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Once a teacher told my mom that my art was no good. I really tried my best. Now, I do not enjoy drawing because the teacher told I'm not good enough and all the pleasure out oh, has been taken away. Yet I want to draw so much. Okay. So, well, the last, we've got one more monster, so that last monster will represent the monster of that teacher. So, so that's good. So let's, we, could, we are ready to tap now, tapping to the end. And Freddy, okay, well if that is the case, I shall let Freddy and Tappy Teddy come together. We shall put those monsters there. They are the monsters that we shall be tapping on. Oops.
Nazi days, and they don't understand that either. They're not very obedient monsters, are they? Huh. How funny can that be? There you go. Stabbing monsters. <laughs> okay. So, we will tap on all these monsters. And this is help us to acknowledge that we are carrying these monsters inside of our own bodies, even though they're no longer there. So, we should start tapping on the side of the hand. And, um, yeah, children feel free to tap along and repeat after us. So, even though I've got all these monsters inside me, I'm still a good kid. Even though mum's monster is scaring me, dad's monster frightens me, and the teacher's monster is bullying me, I'm still much love. Even though I feel scared, frightened, and stressed because of all these monsters, I'm still a good kid. So tapping at the top of the head, all these monsters. In between the eyes, mum's monster. Side of the eye, dad's monster. Under the eye, teacher's monster. Underneath the nose, mum's monster. Chin, dad's monster. Collarbone, teacher's monster. Okay, well tune in to see, children, what's happening to your monsters. Are they still as scary as before? Let's ask Freddy. So, Freddy, how is it feeling? Are these monsters still as scary inside of you? Hmm, they are still there, but not scaring me as much. Oh, okay. Well, to make the tapping more effective, we shall focus on one monster at a time. As the more specific we are, the better help there is for us. So, which one of these is then the scariest monster? Hmm, I think it's Mum's monster. Right, Dad, I think you said that was Mum's monster? Hmm, can you think back to the time what happened exactly when a mum had a go at you. Oh, she came running in. She was very stressed and shouted at me. I was holding at that time her precious vase and because mum scared me while shouting at me, I dropped it and it all shattered in pieces. Then she said I did not care about her and her vase that I was no good. And she sent me to my room as punishment. She just did not want to hear me at all. I, I so much wanted to apologize to her for breaking the vase and to say that I was sorry that I did not mean to drop the vase, but it was all no good. Oh well, thanks for explaining all that this well, Freddy. It will help us while we are doing our tapping. Okay, so I'll let you go back to be with Tapping Teddy to tap along. And we shall start tapping. Even though Mum got mad at me and I got mad at Mum, I'm still a good kid. Even though I'm very angry with Mum, she did not want to hear my apology. She was still not, she was not there for me. I'm still much lost. Even though mum yelled at me for no reason, I'm still a good kid. So tapping at the top of the head, all oh, this mum's anger in between the eyes. She yelled at me for no reason. Side of the eyes. I got scared and dropped the vase. 
under the eye. I um, said I was not good enough. Underneath the nose. I um, said it was all my fault. On the chin. She would not listen to me. She said I was to blame. She said I was not good enough. Okay, Freddy, just tune in. How does it feel for you now? Do you still feel you are to blame? Hmm. I blame myself, but actually I can see it was my mum passing her blame on to me. I think she knew she was responsible for her anger. And she knew I got scared by her shouts and dropped the vase because of it. But she still blamed me as if it was my fault. Oh, okay. So let's see what Teppi says to that. Well, you felt very angry with your mum, Freddy, which is understandable. How do you feel now after we turn? What happened to the anger? Hmm. When I tuned to the anger before we tapped, it was as big as it could be, just like that. But then it started to go down, just like that. I feel it's almost disappeared. Oh, that is really good, Freddy. You see, we were tapping on the anger you had towards your mum when your mum shouted at you and she was passing her own anger onto you. That anger monster of your mum multiplied inside of you and was causing havoc. Mum accused you of being careless, so now you believed you were careless and were getting upset about it. Think of it this way, as you were tapping on the monster of your mum, you were really releasing it, letting go, saying goodbye to it, saying thank you mum's monster for serving me and warning me all these years but I no longer need you now, you have basically banished this monster. Now you can now imagine a beautiful flower instead in your body in the place where the monster used to be. All oh, right, so what did that happening as we were tapping? So that was the monster. That was, that was the mum's monster, yeah? How does that feel to you? Oh, it just doesn't feel as scary now. Yeah, because you were saying, oh, okay, monster, you can go. I actually want nice things. I want nice things in me. So the monster went, you replaced that with a flower. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. So now I can say goodbye to this monster. Shall we good say goodbye to this monster then? They say goodbye. Goodbye monster. Thank you for serving me. I no longer need you. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. So I said goodbye to this monster, it will never come back. Also, I used to think that the less I think of this monster, the better it would be. I thought it would be best not to think of this monster at all. Yes, Freddy, many people repress these monsters inside. Yet it is much better to acknowledge that we have these monsters inside of ourselves, you see. Your mum was not aware she had her own monsters inside as she, like you, tried to repress them. That is why she shouted at you and passed her monster to you. If we are aware of these monsters and acknowledge them, we will be taking responsibility for them. And actually we would not be blaming others for these monsters. Oh. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, 
And we would be free of feeling like a victim. Life would be better for us and for others as we would no longer be victims. Oh, oh yeah, that sounds good. I do like it when you say taking responsibility and becoming aware. Hmm, I never want any of these monsters to scare me anymore. And I never want to pass any of my monsters on to others. They are mine and they are my responsibility. And I'm so glad and so lucky to know you, my dear Teppy Teddy. As you will be able to help me with stepping on my monsters if they ever come back. Hmm? Am I right in thinking you will help me? If I'm ever scared again of these monsters. Oh yes, of course. I will always be there for you to help you. The amount of monsters we are facing can look sometimes overwhelming. But you have done a very good job. Well done for addressing one of these monsters. That is a good start. There is always time for tapping on the other monsters in so at some other time. You do not need to feel you have to address all of these monsters at once. As I say, you will get there. If you do one thing at a time, one monster at a time. Yeah, so we'll just one monster at a time. Just one monster at a time. Oh, I like that. I feel like tapping on that. So, so. Freddy wants to tap on one thing at a time, one monster at a time, one thing at a time, one monster at a time. I will get there one day. Just one monster at a time. Oh, okay. That feels really good. And we can indeed tap on my other monsters one day soon. Okay, all right, well, that was a lovely thing to do to tap on all these monsters. So thank you, Tappy Teddy, for helping Freddy and the children to release their monsters. So Freddy released the monster of his mum, the one that the mum once passed on to him. And I'm sure that children also enjoy the story. Thank you also for helping us to understand how stress is created in our bodies and how we can release it with the help of EFT tapping. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> so enjoy tapping and bye for now children and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Bye bye! <laughs>